Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 12 of E-Man Toys. I've got a double feature here today. Here at E-Man Toys, we collect everything across the board. Today I've got Reaction. Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, I did a review on Lightning, the BSF, or Best Action uh, version. This is the Reaction line. Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of, it says Adult Collector, but they're very retro base figures. I have a few of these. I have Snake Plissken, The Crow, Rocketeer. As you can see on the back, I've also, I just got Jack Burton, uh, Ola, and Rain. Uh, I ordered this online because they're kind of hard to find around here. There's a place in and 30 minutes away, 30 minute drive that carries these, but it's hard to get out nowadays. So I ordered this online on card. It's unpunched. Um, I love this movie. If you're not familiar with this movie, as I said in my review of Lightning, go see it. It's classic 80s. Uh, it was sort of a, a dark avant-garde movie. I don't know. Sort of cult classic, I guess you would call it. Um, I just, I love the movie. I love the characters. Uh, let's check him out. Now the card's already falling apart. Or the, the bubble's coming off the, the card already, kind of just because of the the age probably and the, the glue came loose. So we're just going to slide him out. Now, these reaction figures aren't as nearly, as you can see, get a good look at the packaging. It does give a description. Uh, relive the exciting action of Big Trouble in Little China with authentically detailed reaction figures. Sweet. Looks like his cape comes off. I don't know why you can see him, but. Let's see if I can get a little more light in here. Yeah, it's too much light. So. He's pretty good, pretty cool. Got some good detail. These reaction figures, like I said, they're not the most articulated. Standard five points of articulation. Whoops. He comes with the his weapons, like they're like claws. Now he is he controls the element of rain. But in the battle scenes, they have these specialty weapons. His are these claws that extend. Like razor sharp claws, I guess. Oops. Ooh, yikes. They're not hard plastic. They're sort of bendable, but... Here he is. He's going to look great next to Jack Burton in Lightning, the BSF. Best action figure. Uh, as you can see, I also have the Mandalorian. I'm just so excited about this care uh, this figure. I had to, I kind of forgot about the other half of the double feature here. I love these double features because it allows me to pack two figures in one bid. I'm trying to get a good, get, get, give everyone a good uh, view of his head. Face sculpt. Oops, excuse me. Those are my cats, kittens. Um, yeah, he's cool. I don't know if you like. I, I don't know. Here, like I said, here at Eman Toys, we collect it all. So, if you liked the movie, you're gonna like these figures. 
I mean, they're not the most articulated, but they're cool to put on the shelf. They got that vintage, old-school reaction, like it says in the, in the brand name, Reaction. It's almost like a Kenner, you know, knockoff here. The lettering's almost like, you know, Harkins Kenner. All right, well, he's pretty cool. He's going to look pretty good on my shelf next to uh, the rest of the big trouble little China figures I got. All right. Let's get to the juice. The main feature. The Mandalorian. I'm so excited about this. Um, this is the vintage three and three quarter. Scored it online. No, no way I could find this in store. The other characters in the wave. Hondo. Ohanka, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker, Arc Trooper Fives, Chirrut, Emu from the new series, the new movies, which I didn't really enjoy, Darth Maul, and The Child. Uh, I just recently started watching this show and I'm like binge watching it. I'm still on the first season, but I absolutely love it. I mean, I have a Yoda tattooed on my leg, so I'm a Star Wars fan, to say the least. Um, I honestly first thought the character, the child, was Baby Yoda until I started watching the, the series and found out he's just the same species. I was thinking about it, and perhaps he's Yoda and Yaddle's offspring. I don't know if you're familiar with the character Yaddle, but she was actually featured in Phantom Menace. Uh, she had a quick scene. She's on the council. She's like a female of Yoda's species. So maybe they had an affair or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool to think about where he came from. But he is not Yoda. He's, he's not Yoda. This is not Yoda. He's another, just a species, same species. Um... All right, I cannot wait to get into this figure. I also ordered recently the the Mandalorian, the same three and three quarter, but the the version of him without the child, without the new uh, armor. So let's get into him, shall we? All right. Now, a lot of people would say, "Oh, don't take him out of the card." No. Uh, I personally, I heard a collector say once, or saw a collector say, a toy unopened is a toy unloved. And yeah, I don't, I don't think I have one figure on card still. I think they're all opened. So let's open them up. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you want me. Yikes. All right. I didn't really mess up the card, as you can see. It's got a cool image of the Mandalorian there. Oh, wow. I'm stoked. He comes with some dope accessories. Uh, the head... Din Djarin, Din Djarin, however you say his name, looks like he's got a one of the Baskar uh, plates. More of them. He's got the little container for the Baskar, whatever it's called. And you get Baby Yoda, and he comes with this disintegrating rifle, blaster pistol. Let's get him out of here. Whoa. Excuse me. Let's take a look at the child. The child. He's so... Oh, no. His arm popped off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. There we go. His feet don't move. They're sort of sculpted in there. His, hand, his arms do move up and down, articulate. His head does articulate, and that's about it. The child, he's so dope. I love this character. I didn't know what all the hype was about until I started watching the series. I'm a little behind, but nonetheless, I have begun the Mandalorian. Right? 
take a look at this head sculpt. Get an alternate head. Very good likeness to the actor. Good paint app. Good detail. These Black Series Star Wars figures just nail it. I ain't kidding. I almost feel that the three and three quarter Star Wars and even the Marvel Universe fig figures that they don't make anymore, which is a shame. Had a lot of detail, articulation that out just even outdid the six inch versions. He's got his little Baskar container. Sweet. Uh, it doesn't look like it opens. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. It does open. Sick. So you can store his Baskar, his loot in there. Awesome. And it comes with this. We just get these out of here. They're taped on, so piece of, piece of scotch tape. It's got one plate there. I don't know how well you can see it. And then he's got the stack. It's like a stack of them. I guess it's supposed to be a stack of them. Let's see if I can do a good. Nice. Comes with this disintegrating rifle. Every time he uses this thing, it's just it reminds me of the the line in Empire where Darth Vader tells Boba Fett, no disintegrations. I want them alive. No disintegrations. Oh, this weapon is awesome. If I didn't have a light, if I couldn't have a lightsaber, I'd want this weapon. Nice. It's got good detail for three and three quarter version. Let's take a look at the juice. Does come with the jetpack. Oh wow, he looks great. See if we can get a little more better lighting here. I don't know if that's better or not, but he's got the oh his jetpack just fell off. So his jetpack has a side has one peg and it kind of plugs into his back here alongside his cape. It looks like it's going to have a problem staying on there. He's got all the, the good articulation. You got a joint at the thorax. Oh, yeah. I, one thing I'm already not cool with is the jetpack just keeps falling off. Blaster in. Where's the child? Nice. He's awesome. Wow. These three and three quarter figures, you can just get into some amazing poses with the articulation, let me tell you. Love him. He's just oh, this is what it's about. The bread and butter, the three and three quarter baby. I can't recommend and just praise this figure enough. Other than the fact that his jetpack falls off too easy, he's excellent. He Hasbro knocked him out of the, knocked it out of the park. He's got uh, 
joint at the knee. Doesn't have a swivel ankle. Ball joint that moves forward and back. Um, he does have ball joint hip. So you can get him in some kicks. <clears throat> awesome. Let's take a look with his rifle. Let me see if I can get his rifle here. His holster is blaster. One thing I have a gripe about as well is his disintegrating rifle doesn't sort of fit very well into his hands. Uh, well, if it's okay, with a little bit of work, I think I could work with it, but there he is with the disintegrating rifle. Ready to disintegrate somebody. Wow, he's just awesome. I just love this figure and the character. Oh my goodness. He's one of the best ever. Wow, he's just instantly in my top faves. Top 10. Um... Let me see if I can get him to raise it so he looks like he's, sorry, so he's actually going to fire it. Nice. Wow. Need a little bit of work to get it in his hand and the trigger finger in there, but nice. You get the idea. I can't tell you how many poses and cool, you know, setups you can get to him in. Let's put his jetpack on. Now, like I said, I his jetpack just comes off very easily, so. Heads up. You're going to find that it falls off very easy. Let's try him with his head sculpt. <clears throat> oh, there goes his jetpack again. And here he is. Oh, oh, oh. I just saw the episode where he got, where he gets like blasted in the head by Grand Moff whatever his name is, and he's bleeding, and, takes, and IG takes his helmet off when we finally get a look at his face. Very good likeness. The, knocked it. Just a 10 out of 10 on this figure. 10 out of 10 Hasbro, other than the jetpack. The rifle, eh, I'll overlook. But, yeah. I cannot, <clears throat> excuse me, recommend this figure enough. He's just absolutely amazing. The detail, the sculpt. But like I said, this jetpack is just not cool. Yeah, his cape just totally gets in the way of it securing on there very tightly. So when you just sort of even move him, it falls off. Just to let you know, that's the only drawback to him oh, I just I, I, I'm just I'm blown away now he does look cool with his face sculpt but it just he just for me I'm gonna be displaying him with his helmet and his rifle does come with a peg and there's a hole in the back so you could plug it in. Now obviously you're not going to be able to find room 
for the rifle and his jetpack. So it's like one or the other. Trying to get him in a cool, like, walking pose here. Nice. I'm just totally in love with this figure. Hasbro, thank you. You knocked it out of the park. He's just fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I will probably display him without the jetpack, with the rifle, and with his blaster. Oh wow, he looks dope. Amazing. I do love, uh, in his costume, he's got the brown tips on his gloves. Just awesome. Now I did see that Hasbro is coming out with the Razor Crest, which will probably be super expensive, but I'm gonna pick it up probably, try to anyway. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm gonna go play with this guy. If you can score him, get him. Uh, I believe I got this set with the child, he's not cheap. I think I paid a uh, uh, I don't know, 34 and 34, 40 bucks. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a. Oh, let's see. There we go. All right, let's see if I can get him holding the child. Back off. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. He's sort of dark and my lighting's kind of sucky right now, but you get the idea. You can get this guy into some really fantastic poses. Uh, let me see if I can get some better lighting here. There we go. Yeah, I dig him. Absolutely fantastic. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I give this figure a 10 out of 10. And the retro action, reaction, rain figure, your standard reaction figure. Just a cool figure to have in your collection. If you collect, collect them all. Like, oop, collect them all, like I say. And until next time, may the force be with you.